Hi there, welcome to Nappy Invest. I have about 15 minutes spare time, and I thought to myself, what can I do with 15 minutes? And I said to myself, why not record a video? And I was thinking, what can I do a video on? And I thought, why not answer some of your questions? So I was going to do an answer reply, or a fairly short answer reply video, and then I went back to see the last question or reply I wanted to respond to, and those questions were in regards to my trading view setup. So I thought I'd do a second video on my trading view setup, talking about my moving average ribbons that I use, how to set that up. So I'm going to show you the indicator I use to set up those ribbons, but I'll also show you how you can develop your own uh, indicators or moving average ribbons via chat GPT. Now, if you're like me and pretty stupid when it comes to programming, particularly Pine Script in TradingView or any sort of other type of programming, the whole reason Jet GPT exists is for you. Even stupid people like me can use Jet GPT to make their life easier. So I'm going to go through both ways. I show you the indicator I use and also how you can develop your own via Jet GPT. So let's go to Trading View, and it's set on XAO, which is your order is down 1.21% so far today. I'm recording this video at 2.15 p.m. on Thursday, 25th of July, so a fairly red day on the markets, but this should not be a surprise to anyone out there who does follow the markets, even casually. So uh, the most important thing about this uh, particular chart here is there's no volume. And I don't really need to talk about the volume because that's irrelevant when we look at the price action and these moving average ribbons. So I only have three indicators and the plan I am via training view allows you only five uh, indicators and stuff like that. So I have volume, uh, moving average ribbons, two of them, uh, EMA cross, and sometimes I use a different moving average. A lot of times I will use the 150 day moving average. So I just wanted to show you the moving average ribbon R5.2. I used two of those to get both of my moving average ribbons. Now, the reason I wanted to bring up Jack GPT is you could develop your own indicator combining both moving average ribbons into the one. So you don't have to use two. You could do that quite easily, in my opinion. Okay, so what is this indicator that I use? So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to not close these off, but I'm just going to make them blind, whatever you want to make them invisible and go to the indicator bar and hopefully you're favored some of your um more favored indicators so i've got quite a few here and hopefully the one i'm using ma ribbon is here here it is it's ma ribbon r2 by just uncle what i'm going to do is i'm going to open this up so all you get is one and i'm actually going to also show you about this script. So you can just see what it is. Here it is, MA Ribbon R2 by Just Uncle. Uh, and it's a little bit more complicated than um, what I do use. In fact, if you go to the Pine Editor, this is it's a fairly long script, a really, really long script. In fact, it goes to 371 lines or something like that. So this is a fairly involved script. And I am dubious that JetGPT can actually develop this sort of script. I am very dubious, dubious because I've actually been working on JetGPT uh, with Pine Script, which is the uh, programming language for that TradingView uses, and it does have problems with more complicated script. Uh, anyway, so the default with MA Ribbon, open up settings, has a lots of different settings here, and all I change really is the fast MA and the slow MA. So this one is 50 and 100. And fine enough, I don't use either. I use, say, 100 and 200. Or maybe you want to be be more of a short-term trader. Maybe you use 5 and 20. And that's all I do. So that's 5 and 20. Now there's 5 and 20. So it's really changed. So that's the MA ribbon. It changes color when the trend or the sentiment shifts as well. So green represents to me positive sentiment, positive trend. When it's red, negative sentiment, negative trend. So all the work is really done for you. So I really implore you, if you do use this particular indicator, go through the about this script, have a read of that. And it goes through all these different options you can use 
So very detailed. Uh, so I do recommend that. And then you can just change your settings, how you like it. And that's all I've done. So if I go to one of my settings, the only thing I changed was the fast MA and the slow MA. And you could also use show colored bars or show MA crosses alerts, show swing alerts, filter swing alerts, candles must open and close outside ribbon coloring. So there's a lot of things you can check here if you want. You can also change the colors, uh, that sort of thing. Okay, so let's go to JUT GPT. So hopefully now you're across how to find this particular indicator in a trading view. So I'll delete that, but you can develop your own. So let's do, and I am actually, an, uh, I am a subscriber to Jet GPT. So what can we say? Pine script, or maybe I should actually word it like a human being. Can you please develop a Pine script for a two moving average Moving average ribbon, blah, blah, blah. You can do whatever you want. Now, I've done this in the past. So let's actually have, have a look at what I did. Uh, and it, oh, no, no, here it is. Here it is. So this is actually what I wrote uh, when I first did this quite a few days ago. Pine script, moving average ribbon, colored in red between the two moving averages. Very simple. That's actually not what I want. Uh, but all you have to do is copy code when it develops a script. Copy code. Now I know this works because I actually did test it. That's why I'm doing or going back in time now. Copy the code, go to Trading View, open up Pine Editor. Uh, you have to uh, develop a new one. So do, 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 do. what you can do is just delete all that. And there should be a way to to develop a new one. Uh, open Editor in New Window. No, that's not what I want. So go back to Pine Editor, there it is. It's all clean now and just paste it in and then save as something, tests. What I'll do is I'll say tests, MA ribbon, save it and hopefully it comes up now. Oh no, but then I've got to open it up in my personal one, test MA ribbon and here it is. Very simple. Uh, so it's a very short program. It's only about 20 pay or 20 lines long. But that is how you develop. And the other thing I should mention is this had 20 and 50 day moving averages. I did I even mention that in the yeah, I didn't even mention that in the question uh, I gave to a Jack GPT, but it just gave me 20 and 50 day uh, moving average ribbon. But it's colored in green, so it's not changing colors. And then probably another thing you'd probably want to do with this is uh, combine the two moving average ribbons into the same script. Haven't got that far just yet. Have it changing colors. Also give you the option to change the moving averages. So instead of 20 and 50, have the option that you can input a 50 to 100 or 200 or 5 and 20, that sort of thing. Have the option to change colors as well. Uh, so I'm not that advanced to do that using the script. That's why I'd probably do it or through Jet GPT. Okay, so that's all I have for this particular video. And if you want, share me your scripts. I'd love to see your scripts and test out your scripts. Uh, in fact, I have one here in my favorites. Uh, this is one called, there is one called McAvoy All-in-One from uh, All the Mac. This one here, hopefully it's working. It was working last night. Oh, there's a question here. Oh, this, this is all ordinaries. That's probably why it's not working. So let's go back to one of my companies. Let's go to Aristocrat. Hopefully this works. So this is a, a, a script developed by one of the viewers of this channel who sent me an email, told me about this script. It's quite involved, but it's really, really good. It's got all these financial numbers up the top. And I think this is sort of a breakout script as well. You can see uh, breaking out or aristocrat breaking out uh, back on the 16th of May. So uh, if you develop your own scripts, I'd love to see it uh, and just send me an email. Anyway, that's all I've got for this video. If you have any questions, any thoughts, leave those in the comment section of this video uh, of this, yeah, this video. Otherwise, I'm not a financial advisor. If you do need financial advice, make sure you seek out someone who is qualified. 
and can speak to your own financial needs. That's it for the video. Have a good day. Bye.